Alright. Here we go. This, it doesn't get any closer than this. 2075 versus 2078. Okay. Fisso is trying to beat off Mr. P, who just got finished playing a game. He is the current king and is looking to go on a two game winning streak. Grunfeld or King's Indian defense? That is the one moment that we could have that decision. Uh, we don't have that though. We don't have the Grunfeld with d5. We have bishop g5. Intending what exactly? An eventual queen d2 and getting rid of the dark square bishops? Let's see how black will strike at the white pawn center. These are some things I think about. How will black go ahead and challenge these guys in the center? Okay, first this bishop is being kicked around and black is going for this particular imbalance, the knight for bishop exchange. So, some things to note. When this knight takes the bishop, there might be some tactics against this square if this rook isn't defended. This is not the direction to capture. That's my first thought. Capture towards the center unless you have a good reason not to. Now, I guess white is giving some weight to what exactly? Giving some weight to this idea of castling and having play along the f-file. So let, let's see if uh, white can follow through with that idea. In the meantime, this knight, although he's on the edge, he is keeping a close eye on f5. And I was thinking about this c5 advance to strike in the center and increase this bishop's diagonal strength and to open up this diagonal for the queen where she would pin the knight and rake this fifth rank. I think it's important to keep this knight out of the f5 square. Bishop, so this is to defend this pawn and notice how this is maybe available as well. Capturing away from the center, this is the one square that becomes very soft. e3 is now unprotected. So... For right now, okay, actually, queen taking up residence on g5 can be quite strong. And now this knight will have a beautiful home on e5. I'm really liking black's position right here. Um, they are uncastled, but this knight is absolutely invaluable. And you know what? This knight is completely out of squares. This queen is going to be a monster on g5. This bishop is a monster to begin with. This knight is fantastic. I wonder if it's necessary to first prevent knight b5, however, right? Instead of queen g5 stuff, maybe it's important to insert a6. Is there anything sneaky here? There actually might be, with pawn takes, pawn takes, knight here, to trade a very good knight to get knight g6 and to get rid of this very good knight for a not-so-great knight on h4. Now, I think this might be available, but no, there's something about this square, isn't there? Maybe it's okay to give it up. Maybe it's like, you know what, I'm not going to try and babysit somebody who's so weak. Maybe just give that up and go forward with knight b5 to here. a6 I like. a6 says you have nothing. And I could, I could make these type of moves and just be overly cautious. Dark square weaknesses everywhere. There are no white pawns that are controlling dark squares, at least in the center of the board. So maybe black is intending queenside castle. Bishop could move with tempo on the queen, so where does she go? Oh, she's not going anywhere. Oh, man. This isn't a good idea. Bishop takes pawn. There might be some tricky stuff, however. Bishop takes pawn. I wonder if queen d3 as the follow-up is there. We're not even having this bishop move. It's a very tempting move to be going forward with. We are at castled opposite sides, and I was talking about this knight being not a great piece, but you know what? Come to think of it, if we're castled on opposite sides, he is actually serving a very good role in preventing black from doing what? From opening up any files against the white king. C4 is on. C4 is being threatened, as well as A5, but I think it's more important to watch over C4. Because if this knight is able to capture, you're now having to contend with, what, another piece getting involved. So, okay, b4 is being played. That's a very interesting move. I was going to say, if the queen ever takes a, then the a file opens up. But now we have the b file and maybe even the a file opening up. 2 minutes, 22 seconds to 3 minutes. The rook swinging right over, hitting the queen, and now this becomes a big issue. 
The black rooks aren't doing anything. White has invested two pawns in order to have both of their rooks doing something. Mate threat on b7. I guess you could have this, but we're probably not going to have that. b6 seems like most natural, but okay. Definitely avoid the queen exchange. White is looking to attack, so keep those queens on the board. Queen c2 is my first thought. We could still be having queen c5, offering another queen exchange and putting pressure on c4, but no, we have the queen posting up yet again on e3. Rook a1, this knight is pinned. This queen is there to defend the pawn. Knight takes pawn here is available. Isn't it? Knight takes pawn, bishop takes, and then you're on this knight. Hitting the queen, hitting the rook. Interesting. Maybe it was important to still keep the rook on f1 in case this knight ever moves. You could crash through on f7, and then you're hitting a ton of stuff. Two bishops, a pawn, maybe contribute in some way to attacking the king. Knight takes would be a blunder. Don't take with the knight. Take with the pawn, and then maybe this bishop could be contributing. In fact, there'd be a threat. C takes D. Rook takes pawn is a threat. Rook takes pawn, king takes, bishop check on a6, and then you get the queen. Uh, it's not there just yet. There's, maybe there is some sacrifice. Okay, mate threat. No, not quite. The queen is there to defend a7. Knight takes rook is available. Oh, oh we have that check. Oh, we're going to have mate. <gasps> oh, man, a smothered mate is happening. Oh, a deadly smothered mate. King f1, queen mate. King in the corner, queen g1, rook takes, knight f2. Bam. <laughs> oh, man. One of the most... Aesthetic type of uh, combinations in chess. The deadly smothered mate. Ouch. I missed that one as well. Very nice game. Just the queen and the deadly knight. Did the job there for black. Wow. Very nice. I like that game. <laughs> I like that game. Very nice. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about the capturing away from the center, but... Those dark squares, very difficult. I liked capturing towards the center and then getting play on that A file. 